Howdy directors, welcome back to day three of iMovie and Clips. We're gonna be back in Clips today like we've been for the past two days. I promise we will get an iMovie soon, uh, but I've got a fun project for you and this is a two day project. Now I know it's going to be a lot of information. Um, you do not have to finish everything on day three. I'm going to give you tomorrow to work on this project as well, but I'm gonna give you all the information up front because I know some of you are gonna get excited and wanna just go for it. So uh, we're gonna open up clips and then your little folder up in there in the top right corner. Hello, you can see my crazy hair. Um, you're going to create new. We're gonna start a brand new one. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a silent movie. So what you need to do first is just decide where are you going to make your movie. Um, I just happened to go to the zoo last week uh, with my best friend, Abby, and my son, Fritz. So when I was there, I decided to capture a couple uh, short little movies. I even took a couple pictures that I can use here in clips also. It doesn't have to be a movie. So uh, you decide where you want your video to be. It can be in your room, it can be in your backyard. It doesn't have to be anywhere fancy. I was just happening to go to the zoo that day. So uh, pick out a couple different movies. Um, get some that are up close, some that are far away. You want lots of different angles. Um, it is okay if there's talking in it. We can take the talking and the sound out uh, in the clips app. It's also okay if your videos have color because we're going to use filters to make them black and white so it looks like an old-timey silent film. So record a couple clips, take more than you need because we can always trim it out. And uh, when you've got your videos, you can choose which ones you want. So here was the picture I took at the zoo. When I've got my picture selected, I can hold this pink record button. Even though it's not a video, it's going to make the picture that long. I'll go back to the library. Um, I really liked this picture of my son, or this video of my son with his walking stick. So I'm going to record that. Now if I decide later, oh, this really doesn't need to be as long as that. I hit trim and I can make it shorter. And then I'll hit apply and then it makes my clip a little shorter. Then I'll hit done up in the corner. So this is what you're going to do with the videos that you took and the pictures that you took. Uh, you're going to just select them and hit the pink button to record them and put them in your video. And these clips can always be moved too. So if I decide I want this one at the beginning or I want it here, that's no big deal. You can move them around. We'll do the same thing with posters. So if I see a poster that I want to use, kind of a howdy person so we'll use that one remember just like we did yesterday with effects some of these you can change some of them you can't that just happens to be one that i can type on at the zoo at the zoo and i'll apply and then if i want to record this poster i hit the pink button again and it will add it into my clips and maybe I decide I want that to be at the beginning. So I'll move into the beginning. Alrighty, so once you've got your clips where you want them to be, if we're going to make this a silent movie, we need to take out all of the sound. That includes me talking <laughs> while I'm putting it. So I'm going to hit the mute button on this so you won't hear me talking. Now this one was just a picture. So when I hear mute, And hit it will the play the clip which will record them and, them, them, and them and put them in your video. On this one, the video has sound and there was sound of me talking on this tutorial. So when I hit mute, I'm going to have some options. Mute original video is going to get rid of the sound in my video. Mute recorded audio will get rid of me talking while I was recording. Dick. Dick. So I'm going to... So I'm going to... So I want to do the same thing here. If I want them to be a silent movie, I don't want to have any sound in it. So we'll take away the recorded audio, we'll take away the uh, video, or the audio in when I was uh, recording my clip. We're going to add some music like you did yesterday, so you can go to the soundtracks and pick which one you like. I'm just going to pick one real fast. So and again, you add your music and, again, and it will add it into, and it my, will add it into my clip. Oops, looks like I need to get rid of the sound on that one. So yeah, let's go back and take the sound out of this one. Yuck. 
Um, we also, to make this look like an old time silent film, uh, we're gonna add some filters to make these all black and white. So uh, if I wanna work on the zoo picture, I've got that clip highlighted at the bottom and I'll hit the star for effects. And let's go all the way to the end. So mono, silver tone, and this noir are going to be your best choices for black and white. And then I want to do the same thing to all of them. I want them all to be black and white so they look like old time silent films. So directors, you play around with these. I do want it to not have sound. I want you to mute the clips and I want them to be in black and white so they look like an old timey uh, silent film. But that doesn't mean you can't add other effects to it. You can add text. You can add stickers. You can add emojis. <laughs> Put an owl in there for fun. Woohoo, big owl on my son's head. Why not? So um, you'll play around with that and then when you're finished, you'll just turn it in on Classroom the same way that you turned in your first two projects. So we'll hit the square with the arrow in the bottom and you should already have Classroom as an option now because you turned it in earlier. But if you would like to hit more and enable Classroom, that should be slid over. But hopefully it's already there from doing this for the last two days. You'll turn it into Classroom, make sure that it gets on iMovie and Clips and then you are good to go. So directors, looking forward to what you're going to turn in. This does not need to be turned in to me until tomorrow. I recognize that this is a lot bigger project uh, than we did for the first two days. So you are welcome to make your videos and kind of plan out what you're going to do today. And then you might want to do all the editing and the fun stuff tomorrow to add effects and make it black and white and mute everything. So uh, enjoy.